Um, right, so, Ohm's Law experiment, lads, what do we need for it? First we need a power supply. What do we got here? Calorimeter. What's this acting as? A resistor. Okay, so this is the resistor. And what are we measuring from the resistor? The? The voltage, the potential difference. So you're measuring the potential difference of the, the resistor. What have we got here? A variable resistor, okay? What are we doing with this? Change in the resistance, okay? Um, and that changes the, we're actually gonna control the voltage here, okay? And then we're measuring here as well, amps, the current. So lads, the voltage, the potential difference, we measure that in parallel with the resistor. The current we're measuring in series with the resistor. So you gotta get the setup in the right order. What we're gonna start with lads um, is we're gonna get a potential difference of one volt. So we're gonna change the uh, power supply here, bring it right down. And then you also change the variable resistor. And what you do is you wanna get one volt on your voltmeter. All right, so we have one volt there, and we have a reading on the ammeter, which is about um, 0.25. All right, so write that up. So you fill that into your table. Then we just go up to two volts on the voltmeter. So you can use the variable resistor to try and get up there. If you can't get all the way up, then what you do is you change the voltage here, and you move it again until you get to two volts there okay so remember it's always the the voltage across the the uh calorimeter that we're looking for so we have two volts there and the current now is 0.42 uh, 0.42 okay then we go again we're going to try and get up to three volts so we can get that without moving the power supply so three volts there and the current is 0.6 then we go up to four volts, click that up, move this until we get to four volts, just under 0 0.8, so we'll say 0 0.78 approximately. And then the last one, we're going to get up to five volts. Five volts, and we're just under one amp there, so it's about 0.95, okay? Okay, so a quick uh, analysis of the results then. So here's our table. We had uh, for one volt, 0 0.25 amps. For two volts, 0 0.42 amps. For three volts, 0 0.6 amps. For four volts, we had 0 0.78 amps. And for five, vo five volts, we had 0 0.95 amps. So we're gonna plot that on the graph here now. Um, so one volt and 0 0.25 amps, two volts, 0 0.42 amps, three volts was 0 0.6 amps, four volts was 0 0.78 amps, and then five volts was 0 0.95 amps. So we can see there that this is a bit of a straight line here. So we can we can draw in uh, a line of best fit in here and we can see that it kind of goes through the origin and um, it's very close to it if not perfectly through the origin like so and this shows us that current is directly proportional to the potential difference so i is proportional to v and this is ohm's law this verifies ohm's law